The camera world has been abuzz with whispers and rumors surrounding a tantalizing new addition to Nikon's mirrorless lineup, the mythical Nikon Z90. This elusive camera shrouded in speculation has managed to capture the attention of photograph enthusiasts worldwide, thanks to its purported capabilities and the promise of filling a crucial gap in Nikon's arsenal. The Nikon C90 is rumored to be a direct competitor to the Canon EOS R7, a formidable APS-C mirrorless camera that has taken the market by storm. Touted as a potential replacement for the beloved Nikon D500 or even branded as a baby Nikon Z9, the Z90 is expected to cater to the demanding needs of sports and wildlife photographers, offering a powerful combination of high-resolution images and rapid-fire shooting, amplified by the crop factor of its APS-C sensor. While Nikon has found tremendous success with its full-frame mirrorless offerings, such as the impressive Z8 or Z9, the company's APS-C lineup has been primarily focused on entry-level and content creation users. The introduction of the Nikon Z90 would fill a glaring void, providing a compelling option for professionals and enthusiasts seeking a more specialized APS-C solution. So what can we expect from this highly anticipated camera? According to the rumor, the Nikon Z90 is said to feature a 33MP DX APS-C sensor capable of capturing stunning 4K footage at 60 frames per second, with the added bonus of oversampling for improved quality. For those seeking slow-motion magic, the camera is rumored to offer full HD recording at a blistering 120 frames per second, or possibly even push the envelope further with a tantalizing 180 frames per second. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Whispers suggest that Nikon Z90 will boast an impressive 15 frames per second burst shooting capability, making it a formidable contender for capturing fast-paced action. Additionally, the camera is rumored to feature an impressive six stops of in-body image stabilization, ensuring crisp, shake-free images and videos even in challenging conditions. Fueling the anticipation further, there's been conflicting chatter about whether the Z90 will feature a stacked sensor, a technology that has proven its metal in powerhouses like the Fujifilm X-H2S and the OM System OM-1. While the Canon EOS R7 lacks a stacked sensor, the potential inclusion of this cutting-edge technology in the Nikon Z90 could propel its performance to unprecedented heights. Speculation also revolves around the camera's burst speed, with some suggesting that the rumored 15 frames per second might be limited to mechanical shutters. Given the Z90's target market and its purported use of CF Express cards, many enthusiasts are holding out hope for even faster burst rates, potentially rivaling the impressive 30 frames per second offered by the Canon EOS R7. In terms of design and ergonomics, the Nikon Z90 is expected to feature a 3.2-inch tilting touchscreen providing users with a familiar and intuitive interface. Additionally, the camera is rumored to incorporate a dual-card slot system, combining a CF Express Type B slot with an SD card slot, a practical solution that allows photographers to leverage their existing memory cards while gradually transitioning to the newer, faster format. While official details remain elusive, the sheer volume of rumors and the logical progression of Nikon's mirrorless lineup lend credence to the existence of the Z90 or a similar camera. With multiple Z-mount prototypes reportedly undergoing field testing, it's reasonable to assume that a production-ready model is not too far off. As the anticipation continues to build, photographer enthusiasts eagerly await Nikon's official announcement. Hopeful that the Z90 will live up to its billing as a game-changing addition to the APS-C mirrorless market. Whether it emerges as a direct successor to the D500 or a true mini Z9, one thing is certain, the Nikon Z90 has already captured the imagination of photographers worldwide. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and thanks for watching.